Hey, yo, what's good? So tomorrow, we're going to be Luis Colazzo versus Keith Thurman, or better yet, Keith Thurman versus Luis Colazzo. It's going to be PBC on ESPN, the first premier boxing champions on ESPN. And honestly, the thing I'm looking most forward to in this fight is Teddy Atlas. <laughs> uh, I was kind of upset that Friday Night Fights is no longer a thing and I'm still upset about that because it will no longer showcase like up and coming stars and hard nosed veterans like um Darnell Boone or stars like Erzlandi Lara Carlos Molina Sergio Mora Brian Vera a lot of these guys got their starts on ESPN on Friday night fights and Darnell Boone has few fights on ESPN too. Also, Willie Monroe. He was an ESPN fighter, won the Boxino tournament. So that's why I'll miss that, showcasing lower level of the boxing scene. Of course. Well, I don't know, even if of course. Um, perhaps PBC on ESPN will be viewed more. I believe that it will because... They got bigger names, but that that's my uh, problems with Ahimman buying off. I think he bought off um, Friday Night Fights. That's unfortunate for me. But at least we got Teddy Atlas, who was never held his tongue for anyone, and I do not expect him to hold his tongue for Ahimman. So if he sees a mismatch and he sees, sees a fight he didn't, he doesn't like, I expect him to rant. If he sees a decision, I expect him to rant. I hope, <laughs> and this is, I hope Daddy Garcia uh, gets another robbery win against, <laughs> against uh, Pauli Manolaji just to hear uh, <laughs> Teddy Atlas rant, man. <laughs> oh, and yeah, and that's what I'm most looking forward to. Teddy Atlas is one of the most knowledgeable people in boxing. And if you don't believe that, do your history. He trained the young Mike Tyson. Shout out to young Mike Tyson for grabbing his sisters. But, so, <laughs> Mike, um, Teddy Atlas is a G, man. I don't know how he got that scar on his face, but I'm sure it's from being a G. Leave your comment if you know what <laughs> why he has that scar, man. Damn, three minutes on that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I do see this as a mismatch. I know Colazzo is a veteran, a hard-nosed veteran. It's only been knocked out early once early in his career. And he does have um close decision losses against Birdo and Hatton. But I think he is over the hill. He did have a fight, I believe it's in March. <laughs> But wasn't in the competition as a of a of a Keith Thurman. Every time he stepped up in competition, recently he's lost in his whole career. Really, even though um those losses against Kalaz, I mean those losses against Birdo and Hatton, you could say were robberies that were very close decisions. But he got dominated by Amir Khan. He beat his probably his best ones probably. Victor Ortiz, man, and we know if we know anything about Victor Ortiz is that is that he's a wild card completely, one hundred percent. So, if that's your best win in your career, especially a Victor Ortiz in two thousand fourteen, I mean, it's not it's not a very great, you know, you you're not that great of a fighter to beat a Keith Thurman today. Who who has been on a not on on a no KO streak, his last two fights, but his last two fights have been against Southpaws, which I think will help him in this fight. And I hope he does his. I hope he does some well, watching of uh, Luis Colazo's fights. And I think the key to victory for Keith Thurman is keeping his jab, jabbing and moving. He doesn't have to jab and move. I think he could beat Luis Colazo fighting him, but. So he doesn't get hit that much. 
I think he should box him at least at first, the first few rounds, and bang the body. I think banging the body throughout the fight will be key to knocking out Luis Calazo. So keep banging the body. Uh, Luis Calazo, before he was a fighter with a high guard, with a high guard, but his like his fight with Khan, he had a low guard throughout the whole fight, and and he was just open for shots throughout the fight. I know he's a tough fight, a tough fighter, but with the Keith Thurman, you better have your hands up. And I just don't expect, I just don't see him having his hands up throughout twelve rounds. So once he gets tired, his hands will be low. It'll be by his by his hips, and that and I think that'll be when he'll get knocked out by Keith Thurman right hand because of course he is a southpaw. I think the last this is the worst possible time he could fight Keith Thurman because. He just fought two very good southpaws in Leonard Bunda, who was undefeated, and Robert Guerrero, who he couldn't get him out of there, but almost did in the ninth round. So, yeah, that's my prediction. Um, Keith, I think he will be able to knock him out, maybe the eighth, ninth round. And in a pretty exciting fight, Luis Colazo gives for an exciting fight. His last fight with his fight with Khan wasn't very exciting, but that's because that's because of Khan grabbing, you know, throughout the whole fight because now he's with Virgil Hunter and he has to do that. So yeah, I, I predict Keith Thurman to knock him out and he will work on the inside throw uppercuts and body shots. I expect Keith Thurman to do that. Maybe in a fight a little bit like the Diego Chavez fight, except not as close. If you know what I mean. Maybe a bit hard fought, but he will dominate. Even if he has to work a little bit more than we expect him to. Anyway, shout outs to the whole YTBC. Shout outs to Cigar Boxing. Who is from that area of Tampa, Florida. You know, shout outs brother. Hope you have fun at the fights. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. What are your predictions for this fight? How do you guys see it? And what are you most excited for on this <laughs> tomorrow night? Oh, and also um, Hank Lundy versus versus Mauricio Herrero. I think that's the most even fight of the two. And that could be that could even steal the show because even fights are better than one side dominations, even if you get a knockout in that one sided domination, like I said. On that fight. You got Hank Lundy, who's a hard hitter, but he's slower. And But you got a, a, a good boxer puncher, volume puncher. He could box. He could work on the inside. He got Mauricio Herrera. So I expect a tough 12-round decision for Mauricio Herrera to outwork and outfight Hank Lundy on the inside. He's not going to knock out a tough Hank Lundy. But he is... a uh, Herrera is much tough. I think he has a better chin and is tougher than a Thomas DeLorme. But and, and I'll say that he is as good as a boxer. He just doesn't have the the body type that a that a Thomas DeLorme has to use his reach. But he could outbox Hank Lundy. But Hank Lundy will, will make it tough for him. I I expect Herrera to win in like a seven five eight four type of fight. If he doesn't get robbed, which I don't think he will because Hank Lundy is not a star either. So, yeah, we got two very good fights tomorrow. One with the with the star, a future star of boxing, and another one with two seasoned veterans that's in a crossroads fight that, that could steal the show tomorrow, which I'm picking Herrera, who's the uncrowned one champion at 140 by the way he should be the lineal champion right now he should have been the one fighting Lamont Peterson or if they wanted to make that fight without any titles then they should have done that but Herrera should be the champion at super super lightweight right now he should be the champion at 140 as we all know so hopefully when Danny freaking leaves the division he could let all the real 140 pounders fight like Lucas Matisse Victor Postor Anyway, yeah, thank you again for watching this. What are your thoughts on tomorrow's fights? Herrero versus Lundy and Thurman versus Luis Calazo. Please leave your thoughts below and have a great day. Peace.